What's happening guys, it's Shane here. So today we're doing the top five math degrees. This is gonna be an updated video from last year's version. Now, one thing I will say about math degrees before I get into this video is they do tend to be pretty difficult. A lot of people don't really like math all that much. So don't go into these degrees if you're not someone who likes math and or is good at it. So I'm assuming here that you're doing your due diligence and studying this stuff before you commit to it. But with that being said, right after you gently boop the like button, I'm gonna jump right into the video. Number five on the list is going to be physics. Now physics, in my opinion, is actually the most difficult degree you can get, at least the most difficult common degree. Now one problem with a physics degree, and this is a problem with a lot of math related degrees in general, is that they do tend to be a little too theoretical. So a lot of the stuff you learn isn't necessarily gonna be an employable skill. It's not gonna be necessarily useful in the real world. But the ability to learn those skills means that you're very easily going to be able to learn other skills that are useful in the real world. And that's why companies do tend to hire people who graduate with physics degrees, even if it's for jobs that are kind of unrelated. So when you look at the numbers with physics degrees, very solid across the board. Make sure you do your research going into this. If you wanna become a physicist, you're gonna have to get at least a master's level degree, if not a doctorate. But yeah, really solid option. Uh, the next one on the list is going to be a very niche degree. There's not that many people who graduate with this one, but that's going to be aerospace science slash aerospace studies. So this is a degree that you would get if you wanted to basically be a rocket scientist. Now, when you look at the statistics on this one, they are fantastic. Like, very, very good, maybe even the best on this entire list. But you also have to consider the fact that this is a very rare degree, not that many people graduate with it, so the numbers probably aren't as accurate as the other ones. Or even smart enough to gravitate towards this degree, uh, probably tend to be people who would have made a lot of money anyways. Now, one issue with any type of aerospace-related career is it can be a little turbulent depending on the economy, depending on you know whether the country's in a war or in a recession, etc. So it's not necessarily the most most stable career. But overall, very solid one. Uh, you know, definitely do your research on this one before getting into it. You want to make sure this is exactly what you want to do before you get this degree. If you're not 100% sure, maybe consider getting like an aerospace engineering degree or a mechanical engineering degree, something that's a little more flexible and you can change your mind down the road if you want to. Number three on the list is going to be a statistics degree. Now this one is similar to mathematics, but you're going to be learning stuff that's a little more applicable to the real world. Statistics is extremely useful in the real world. And so it is an employable skill. At least it's more of an employable skill than like theoretical math would be. I personally find statistics to be pretty boring. I pretty much like slept through most of my statistics classes in college, but that could have just been because of the professor. They were kind of boring to be honest. Um, but yeah, I can definitely see how useful it is. And then, you know, when I got into grad school, I had to use it a lot more. So yeah, really solid one. Good statistics across the board, um, all the way from how much you get paid to job placement, job satisfaction. Now, number two on the list is going to be engineering degrees. And there's tons of them out there. Some of them are better than others. I've made lots of videos breaking that down. But yeah, engineering is fantastic. If you were to basically take the degree that was the best possible degree you could get in the last 40 years, it would be engineering degrees for sure. I think that number one is going to be better in the next 40 years, but that's just my opinion based on where I see things going. But engineering is an extremely solid option. It doesn't matter where you look, just so good across the board job placement. There's not that many uh, engineers that can't find a job. Even if they can't find a job in engineering, they can find a job in so many other sectors because just about every type of company wants to hire engineers because they know that they're super smart, super hardworking, and they're great problem solvers. You look at how much you make over a lifetime. Engineers come in as number one. You look at what degrees create the most millionaires. Again, engineering is number one or at least up there with uh, different business related degrees. You look at what degrees create the most like fortune 500 CEOs. Again, engineering is number one. You look at flexibility, for instance, extremely flexible, especially if you get, you know, like a mechanical engineering degree, you can do just about whatever you want with your, the rest of your life. Like you can go into so many different careers. And the reason for that is because engineering degrees are just really well respected. And so they know that even if you're transitioning into something that isn't necessarily related to engineering, you're going to be able to pick it up really quickly. So yeah, super solid option. 
I'd say the only downside to engineering degrees or one of the few downsides is that uh, they are very difficult. So you gotta know what you're getting yourself into. Super, super hard, but if you can do it, uh, definitely worth it. Number one on the list is gonna be no surprise, Computer science, in my opinion, I think it's the best possible degree you can get just based on where things are heading in the future. Everything is getting automated. We're going into the age of automation. And with the skills that you learn with a computer science degree, it's so obvious that these are the types of skills that are gonna be incredibly valuable for years into the future. Now, one thing I'll say about computer science, it has that none of the other ones on this list have, is that it's one of those skills that you can actually leverage to a ridiculous degree, right? There's not that many skills out there where if you learn it, you can literally take like one person or a very small group of people and leverage that to, you know, get in front of millions of people. Learning computer science, you can write a program or design a website that millions of people can use. And there's not that many skills out there that allow you to do that. So yeah, computer science, fantastic option, uh, especially for the right person, but pretty much any of the ones on this list are really good options. Uh, I would go with the one that you're most passionate about. Check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell and comment down below. Any thoughts, comments, et cetera, that you have on the video and I will see you next time. Thank you.